hey guys welcome back to another video welcome if you're new don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right into today's video so first and foremost i do want to thank model ones for sponsoring today's video and with that i will be showing you guys a new product that's launching and i'm so excited because i did have a lot of fun creating this video i feel like it was very different so um, i'm going to be showing you guys their new nail remover um this is what the packaging looks like as you guys can see it is a remover plus three in one formula um a liquid polish remover and nail cleaner and nail prep um and it just says shake well before using so that everything is all mixed together and this bottle is 240 milliliters which is eight fluid ounces over on the back it shows some ingredients and the directions on how to use this um i feel like i did see a lot of oils in the ingredients so Whenever I think of like removing nails with like a remover, I always think about how dry the skin gets like when soaking the nails or like, you know, so having a lot of oils in that just, I think that's a great thing because you don't have to worry about the skin getting super dry. It's also very nourishing and this product is pretty simple. So I'm just going to go ahead and open this up, show you guys what it looks like. In the box, it does come with um, a different top, which you can replace when you open it. Also, it has the instructions on basically how to use it. Um, you just file the product down and use it for you to wrap your nails, let it soak off. Pretty simple, like I said. And I also love when the directions come with pictures because if you are a visual learner, I just feel like it's so much easier to follow. Um, but this is what the product looks like. I didn't expect it to be yellow, but let me tell y'all, this smelled so good. After poking some holes in the top, I gave it a smell. Like, I just wanted to see if it was strong or not, and it smelled so good. It almost kind of smelled like fresh lemons, and I really, really like it. It's so refreshing. Um, and then I did go ahead and shake it up a little bit just to make sure everything was mixed. And I did smell it again to see if it would smell the same. It does completely smell the same, but you also can smell more of like the acetone. And that was a good sign because after shaking it, that is how I know everything was all mixed together and, you know, it's going to do what it needs to do. I think the original plan was just for me to um, create some builder gel nails and just remove it to show y'all how it works. But I thought it would be a lot more fun if I just try a lot of different products, especially since this is my first time using this product. And um, I just thought, what's the fun in just trying one product? I will be trying a lot of the other nail enhancements that people like to um, apply to their nails at home. So if you are a DIYer, I feel like this is a great way to remove your nails if you continuously have to soak them off and stuff. Um, I just showed y'all what I was going to be using on each nail. I did pick out five products. Um, I did pick out a gel polish, a builder gel, a nail acrylic slash dip powder, a nail polish, and a gel X set of nails. So I'm going to be applying all of those to my nails. Um, and just removing them to see how the new product works. The way I thought about this video or the way I wanted to go about it is actually do my nails as if I was going to wear them because I didn't want to just like apply each product to like my natural nails because if you think about it, everyone who watched my videos probably does some type of like lengthwise nail enhancement, whether it's just gel X or, you know, there might be a few people who wear their natural nails, but ideally it's just not realistic. So I wanted to at least apply some gel X nails to my nails and then apply those products because that's most likely how a lot of people will be taking them off. So I wanted this to be realistic as possible. So for the four nails, I'm doing the builder gel, acrylic, um, nail polish, and builder gel on. I did use the Model Ones acrylic gel X set thingy and I'm going to be applying those to my nails and then putting the product on top. But for the actual Gel X nails, I did pick out a longer length just because I feel like if I was to be wearing Gel X nails, they probably would be a little bit longer. So um, I could have just used the same oval tips, but I don't know. I just made this video complicated more than it needed to be, honestly. But in my defense, this video was kind of rushed. So um, I thought it out the best way I could. Um, it does have a deadline. So I just wanted this video to be up in time. Um, but I think I did a pretty good job for the most part. So here I am just applying those um, almond acrylic gel X set of nails. And honestly, y'all, I think this is one of my favorite gel X nails to use. I really love how short almond looks. It looks so cute on my hand. 
and um they're just really easy to apply they don't have a huge apex on them but if you do like the more thinner flatter look they are perfect they are linked down below in my amazon storefront if you want to check them out they are absolutely stunning and easy to apply you don't have to do much shaping besides like the little tab in the front um and yeah that's basically what i did to apply them and then i'm also going to take a buffer and remove the surface shine And after removing the dust, this is what they look like. You should definitely check these out if you like how these look. And since I'm going to be using a lot of gel products be in and out the light, I did go ahead and apply my Model 1's UV protection gloves. These will be also linked down below. And next I'm going to go in with a base coat because like I said, I wanted the process of me taking them off to be as if I was actually wearing these. Um, if I was to apply some Gelex nails and go in with like... A design or anything it's ideal to remove the shine and apply a base coat and then go in with the gel polish or um, builder gel products so I did apply those to all of the gel products I had I also applied it to my gel X tip and then I'm going to give that a cure for 60 seconds so the first thing on the list is the gel polish I didn't go for any specific color scheme. I honestly made a list and just grabbed the first product I saw. So I did grab a pink one from one of their six piece um, gel polish sets that I recently used in one of their videos. Their polishes have such great pigment to them and I just love how they look. As you guys can see it's one coat coverage. Um, but once I apply that I'm just gonna cure that for 30 seconds and then move on to the next product. The next one is a builder gel and I think this is one of my favorite builder gels to use. Like I think the first time I used these um, they were so easy to use and I wore them for like a couple days because I didn't want to take them off. Like using a builder gel I feel like at first it was so confusing to like apply it but with this one being like a gel polish bottle like the brush it just makes it a lot more simple. And the way you apply this is you apply a slip layer to the entire nail. It's just going to make it easier for flowing the product down to the nail tip. After the slip layer, I do get some on my brush and just make like a little ball where I want my cuticle to be and just work that from side to side going all the way down the nail. And before I cured it, I did flip my finger upside down, let it self level a little bit um, and then I cured that for 30 seconds. And as you guys can see, just from that first layer, it was pretty much perfect as is. It was super smooth and I honestly didn't have to go in with any other layer. But I wanted to do a second coat just for the sake of trying to remove it and see how it works. And yeah, I just love the way those builder gels look. They have them in a set of six, I think. The one I used in the previous video, I will have those linked down below as well. After my second layer, I'm going to move on to the next product, which is going to be an acrylic slash dip powder. After reading the directions on the box for the nail remover, it does say we can use this product to remove acrylic and dip powder. So I did choose a two-in-one powder to use for this nail. And like I said, I didn't really go for any color scheme. I just grabbed the first product that I saw or I was closest to. And I did pick this really, really bright yellow. It's been a while since I used Mod One's acrylic and I forgot how easy they were to use. Like this is such a pretty color and it applied flawlessly. Like I just love this. If you haven't tried Mod One's acrylic powders, you should definitely check them out. They are super affordable and really great quality for beginners to use. And while I'm applying this, I do want to throw out there that I do have a discount code with Model Ones and you can use it on their website. They also have a store on Amazon which you can buy all of their products or most of their products. I'm not sure if it's like the entire store, but they do have a lot of products on Amazon as well. So you can choose whichever is the best place to purchase your items from. And with this specific product, they did provide me a discount code that you guys can use on Amazon and I will have it up on the screen.
and this is what the acrylic nail looks like i think i did a pretty good job at applying these you can definitely tell that it has a really nice apex and it doesn't look really bumpy it's super smooth but moving to the next product i am gonna do a regular nail polish I don't know what I was thinking when I picked this out, but I did feel like it was worth trying. I don't know how many people out there um, still use regular nail polish because like gel polish is just so much popular. It's just so much more easier to use. It's faster to use. When I was applying this nail polish to my nails, I honestly forgot how great I have it with all of my gel products because I had to wait so long for this to dry. After each layer, I did grab a fan and I was just kind of like fanning it out so it wouldn't take as long to dry. Um, I had to remember I couldn't really go in with super thick layers. Really, really thin layers is what's going to make it dry faster. So I ended up doing a total of three layers for this nail. Um, and believe it or not, this nail took me the longest to do. So yeah, I just forgot how good I have it with all of my gel polishes. Um, so if you are someone who use regular nail polish still, let me know down below. Not saying it's a bad thing, definitely not a bad thing at all, but I'm pretty curious to see has everyone transitioned to just using gel polish or if there's still some nail polish users that um, watch my content. Um, yeah, after the three layers, I did still give that some time to dry because I didn't want to bump it on anything. Um, and after a couple minutes, I am moving on to the next nail which is just gonna be my Gel X nail. So again, ideally, if I was wearing Gel X nails or anyone wearing Gel X nails, unless you wanted to keep them clear, something, some type of design would be on top. So I just went about each and every nail as if I was actually wearing it. So um, I'm gonna complete the nail, add on my gel polish. I didn't do like a design or anything because I would've just end up filing it right off. But for the sake of trying this new product and removing it, I did want to have that same aspect to it. So I did go ahead and apply some glitter gel polish and now I'm going to go back over all of my nails and apply a top coat. Like I said, this video is pretty different. I haven't done any nails to just remove them. Like each and every time I do a design is to try a new product and complete a design not to remove it so yeah like i said it was kind of rushed i didn't really know what i wanted to do for it so i hope you guys like the idea of me trying a lot of different products so let me know if you are feeling today's video down below also if you have been enjoying today's video so far you can let me know by leaving a like subscribing if you haven't already or leaving a comment down below So after curing my top coat for 30 seconds, this is what each of the nails look like. And my favorite enhancement I used on this was definitely the Builder Gel. Like it looks perfect as is. I didn't have to do any filing. But just to recap, I am going to show you each and every nail. So first we have the gel polish, the Builder Gel, the acrylic slash dip powder, the regular nail polish, and the Gel X nails with some gel polish on top. Now for this part, let's just go about it as if I've worn each type of nail enhancement as a full set for at least two weeks and I was ready to take them off. The first step you want to do, of course, is to file them down. So I'm going to go ahead and file these nails down. So at this point, as I'm filing down the first nail, I'm thinking if I file this down too much, I would just completely take off the gel polish I added and it would just be really pointless. So I added less pressure so I could just remove um, like the top shiny top coat layer and now i'm thinking back if i remember correctly i think the instructions actually stated to use like a buffer or a shine buffer to remove the shiny top coat layer when trying to remove products like gel polish or like nail polish in times like this in the video i kind of felt like i did too much or it was pointless because if i end up filing it too far down it would have just ended up being the gel x nails and like i already have a nail specifically for that so I might do like another video of me just trying all of these products on my natural nails and just see how they work. But um, from a content creator perspective, I just wanted to like, you know, actually have 
some type of nail enhancement. For the Builder Gel Nail, I did remove the top coat and just a little bit of that product because going into like removing things that have like a thicker um, consistency or like just a thicker product in general, you want to file them down as thin as possible without damaging your natural nails. So for that one, I did file a little bit more and also for the acrylic nail as well. Whenever I applied it, I didn't file it down as if I was actually wearing it, but I also wanted to keep it a little bit thicker for just to see like, you know, how good this product actually works. So I did file it down a little bit, but I did keep it a little bit thicker. Like, I don't know if I should have did that or not, but we'll see how it works. Um, and then again, for my Gelex nail, I did go ahead and remove all of that product. I did also clip that nail down off camera. So in a few seconds, you will see it um, become a lot shorter because ideally you would go ahead and clip those down for my index nail which I had the regular nail polish on I did switch to just a buffer like a sponge buffer just to remove that surface layer so I wouldn't remove the actual product and after removing the dust we can finally get into testing this product out um, I do have these foils which already came like this um, and I'm just basically going to use these to soak these nails off. I don't know if Model 1s have like the pre-made foils for the removal but you can purchase some online or you can make your own with some foil and some cotton pads or you can use cotton pads and like the little nail clamps. Those are also very useful. You just want something to hold the cotton pad in place so that um, it has time to soak off that product. Remember, you do have to shake this very well to make sure everything is mixed up completely. And as the directions say, you want to soak that cotton pad. So I did add a generous amount and then I'm just going to cover up my finger and make sure the um, heat stays in. Make sure it's really tight so that it has like time to soak and remove. So yeah, I basically drenched each cotton pad and I'm making sure that the nail is centered so that the process is more effective whenever it happens. So I'm just going to add these to all of my nails and start to let them soak. Um, on the directions, it does say the products like the gel polish, the nail polish, and gel X does have to stay for at least 10 to 15 minutes. Um, and I will set a timer so you guys get to see like the process happening. And then for the acrylic and builder gel, it has to stay for at least 15 to 20 minutes, which makes sense because those products are a lot thicker, so it would need a little bit more time to soak off. So I'm just going to get all of these on. I'm going to set my timer and just let them soak. So at the 15 minute mark, I did go ahead and stop my timer and I'm going to be removing the three foils for the nails that only required me to leave them on for 10 to 15 minutes, which I did leave them for 15 minutes. And the first one I'm removing is the gel polish. I did expect it to eat away at more of the gel polish before completely taking the entire nail off. But in a way, that's a good thing, I guess, because of course you want this to be removed. But I did expect it to remove more of the gel polish first before the entire nail. The next one I'm removing is the just regular nail polish. And it did eat away at most of the gel polish, but it also just went ahead and started eating up the gel tip. So that's also a good sign that it actually works. And there's like no damage on my nails. The third one I'm going to remove is the actual gel tip. 
and this is what it looks like um with these nails like this you want to take a cuticle pusher and just scrape off like the excess and again it came up with no problem so um i think the product is working pretty good for the most part to start off um but now that i took them off i am gonna start my timer back and leave the rest of the nails on for 20 minutes So after 20 minutes, that is the maximum um, that the box say. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the Builder Gel nail. And as you guys can see, I think this one had a lot more of a difficult time being removed because I didn't have like any like soft areas where I could kind of like chip this away. If I didn't have like this Gel X nail, it seems to be working a lot easier with like Gel X nails. Like it just goes under the entire nail and just soak it off i don't know why that is but like i feel like that's a great sign especially because a lot of people do like to use gel x nails and if you have them prepped very well and you want to take them off this is a great way to remove them but i did expect it to make the builder gel a little bit softer at least but um i don't think it really bushed for me so i may try to do like a different um method where i just apply it to my natural nails and just see because it seems to really have a way with the gel x tips underneath it um and then the last nail i'm going to be removing is the acrylic slash dip powder and it did make the acrylic a little bit softer to the point where i take a cuticle pusher and just scrape everything away if i did apply the acrylic to my nails with like some nail tips after cutting them down it would be just on my natural nails if that makes sense so if it doesn't completely remove you can just scrape away what you can and then go back in with another foil and leave it on for at least 10 to 15 more minutes but for the most part i think this is a great working product so far since this video was rushed i kind of panicked and added on like the gel x nails underneath it so in a way i do want to create another video whether it's like a full um video like this one or just a nail short on youtube here or instagram i do want to just try them on my natural nails and see if i get the same results um so yeah let me know if you would like to see that down below but yeah for the most part i do think this is a great working product as for like the ingredients i don't think it really made my skin super dry either so that's great um, and I will have this product linked down below. So let me know your thoughts and opinions on this new product. Again, thank you Model Ones for sponsoring today's video. And if you did watch till the end, thank you so much. I am super appreciative. I do notice a lot of people that watch my videos aren't subscribed yet. So please make sure that you hit that subscribe button before leaving. And that wraps up everything. Let me know what you thought about today's video. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.